Every stronghold over our marital destiny be broken, be broken. Any stronghold over our spouses, our future spouses, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken right now, right now. Good evening, good evening, everyone. This is Apostle DeCore Green, the founder of Overseer of Upper Room Kingdom Church. I greet you all in the precious name of Jesus. As we're here for day number six and our ten days of fire, prayer, and spiritual warfare. I greet you all in the precious name of Jesus. Give me all time to kind of get get on. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, T. Janet. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Amen. Remember, we're going to start with uh, Holy Communion at the beginning. So, again, if you have your crackers, your bread, your juice, your water, submit it unto God for holy use, and we're going to be uh, going into that first. Hello, Renita. God bless you, God bless you. Hello, Pamela. Right, you faithful warriors, you've all been showing up. Uh, some of you have been showing up every day. Uh, wonderful for our, for, our, for our 10 days. And, and some of you will showed up every day when we did our eight days uh, uh, during this month. So, uh, so, so definitely commend you all for uh, taking it seriously. And, and I know some of you have been watching the replays uh, who weren't able to be on live. But again, excited for you all coming forth. Hello, Angelo and Candice. Blessings, blessings. Our South African warriors there. Amen, amen. So remember, we're about to go into Holy Communion. So get your um, your bread or your crackers. You submit it unto God for holy use. And your juice or your water, whatever you use. So give you time to get that together. And I'm going to open up with a prayer. Uh, and then we're going to go into Holy Communion. And then we're going to go uh, to the courtroom of heaven. Before we enter the battlefield, we're going to go in the courtroom of heaven, taking the enemy to court. Who's been trying to bring charges against us, trying to bring accusations against us. Uh, so we're going to go to court to break those legal rights before we go onto the battlefield uh, to make the battle that much easier to fight and that we're not going on the battlefield wounded. Amen. 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 God bless you, Holly. Glory to God. Glory to God. All right. Father God, we come. We bless your name. We glorify you. And we thank you, God, for this day that you have made. We shall rejoice. And be glad in God. Oh God, we ask you to please forgive us for our sins. Any sins we commit in thought, word, or deed. Search our heart, oh God. If there be anything in our heart that's not of you, we ask you to remove it right now in the mighty name. Just remove it, remove it, remove it in the name of Jesus, oh God. For we are the righteousness of God through Jesus Christ. We thank you, oh God, for another opportunity to come to your holy table to, to partake in holy communion with you. To, to remember what Christ has done uh, on the cross for us. That Christ died on the cross for our sins rose from the dead with all power in his hand and his blood was shed that we may be back in right staying with you oh god that we're covered in the precious blood of jesus christ so we thank you for the opportunity to come to your table to your table right now to dine with you to sup with you right now we thank you for healing taking place at this table we thank you for our souls being healed at this table we thank you for our bodies being healed at the table we thank you for deliverance breakthrough at your table in the name of jesus we thank you for opening our eyes removing the scales from our eyes at your table. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you for the victory in advance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Oh, God bless you, Tina. Darren, God bless you. And so we know with Holy Communion, I tell you all the time that when, we, that when we go, hello, Linda, that when we go to Holy Communion, we partake in Holy Communion with, with the Father, with Christ. It's, it's remembering what Christ did for us and that there's healing at the table when you partake in communion. That's why I say you can take it. Scripture says as often as, as you do it, you do remember. So there's no limit on how often you can take Holy Communion. Partaking it because, again, there's healing that takes place. There's so Your eyes can be open uh, during this time because we're becoming more intimate with, with God. We're coming close to, to the Father. We're fellowshipping with Him during this hour, during this time. And that's why uh, 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 it's so powerful because of what Christ did for us. So there's power in the blood, power in His body. And we are the body of Christ. Amen. Uh, so, so again, of course, the theme scripture uh, from 1 Corinthians 11, verses 23 to 26. It says, For I received the Lord, which I also pass unto you, that the Lord Jesus, on a night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, and after he gave him thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, 
This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us all eat together. And so after the same man, he took the cup and said, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. As often as you drink of this, you do this in remembrance of me. As often as you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you do show the Lord's death until he returns. Let us all drink together. Hallelujah. And it said they went out into the Mount of Olives. They sang hymns, began to sing songs unto God for the victory. So just thank God for the victory in advance before we enter into battle. Just thank God right now. Thank you, Lord, for the victory. Thank you, Lord, for the victory. Thank you, Lord, for the victory before we even enter into the battle. Amen. We thank you, God, for healing our soul wounds. We thank you for healing our bodies in Jesus' name, that the enemy won't have any wounds that they can use against us on the battlefield in Jesus' name. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you in the name of Jesus. All right, and now before we go into war against the enemy, we're going to, of course, go to the courtroom of heaven. And, of course, remember you said the enemy, i tell you how the enemy bring accusations. Scripture says that the accused of the brethren goes day and night pretty much bringing accusations against us. And so... What happens is, in warfare, if you're wounded, you're fighting, but you're wounded, you got soul wounds, etc. You're fighting, and the enemy can see that, and they can use that to legally send darts at you to slow you down, to get you tired, to get you worn out, etc. Uh, they're bringing accusations against you based on something maybe you've done, maybe something your ancestors done, bloodshed your ancestors did way back when. They keep finding any, any things in the law, any, any legalities they can find, they try to use it against you. They, if they no longer have that, they try to find something that was done in the land, in your city. In your region to try to bring it to court. Say, well, they live in this city, so technically, by law, they're under these rules, and this is what happened here, so technically, we can put this on them, etc. We can come at them with this direction because they're sin in the land, etc. So we're going to cover all of that. We're going to bring it into court. We're going to cancel all that out so they cannot bring any accusations against us. They cannot bring those charges against us. And again, that's why we repent of any sins we've committed, so they don't bring those accusations against us. Any bloodshed our ancestors committed, any bloodshed that was done on our land where we live, in our, our city, our region, we, we bring it to court. We submit our case unto God in court that we will get his righteous uh, uh, rule in our favor. Amen? Because when you don't pray, it's like failure to appear in court. And if someone doesn't show up in court, what happens? Uh, 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 whoever's the other person, they, they're pretty much going to win by default. It's called a failure to appear. Failure to appear. And so you're not going to have a failure to appear in court because you're showing up every day for prayer. You're showing up every day for warfare. So you're showing up, but we're, we're taking the aim of the court so they won't use those rights against us. So right now we're going to prepare to go to, to the courtroom of God. Amen. Father God, we come now to your throne. We approach your throne. We approach your bench right now to present our case, O oh God. We are your children. We are your children. You called us. You sit here on earth, oh God. We give you your yes. We give you our yes before we left heaven, oh God. We know you sent here, us on earth, not to chase after things, but to, to establish your kingdom on earth. So we, we ask you to forgive us for any ulterior motives, any wrong motives for, for, for even coming at you, oh God. We, we, we want you, oh God, to, to, to just push us forward into our destiny, oh God. And we have these demons, these witches, these wolves, these sorcerers who are trying to bring charges against us because of sins that we may have committed in the past, because of sins our ancestors have committed in the past, because of blood that was shed on, on, on our bloodline, because of blood that was shed in our land. So right now we repent. We repent on behalf of all the sins on our bloodline for lying, cheating, stealing, mishandling, anything that was done. Uh, that was not pleasing in your sight, oh God. We repent for it right now. Anything that was done in our land, the evil bloodshed that was done in our territory where we live, right now we repent for it right now in the name of Jesus. And we send the blood of Jesus. We send the blood of Jesus right now to cleanse it, to wash it away, to wash with any demonic portals that, was, that was, uh, 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 came forth because of the blood that was shed. Any evil altars that was erected because of blood that was shed, because of evil blood, because of... of, of, of of murder, because of, of hate, because of whatever was done uh, uh, that was shed, oh God, the, the evil blood right now, we send the blood of Jesus to wipe it out, to close every demonic portal, every demonic gateway, 
in the name of Jesus, they cannot bring charges against us, O oh God. For God, your, your word in Romans 8 says, who can bring a charge against God's elect, O oh God? We are your elect, O oh God. You sent us. You chose us. You called us, O oh God. Before we were formed in our, our mother's womb, O oh God, you sent us. You ordained us, O oh God. So we thank you. We thank you right now, God, for giving us a favorable outcome, O oh God, that there's no legal right that enemy now can use against us. We, we are redeemed from the curse of the law through the blood of Jesus Christ. We are redeemed from the curse of the law through the blood of of Jesus Christ. So we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, O oh God. We thank you for a favor, favorable judgment in our case, O oh God, that, that, that you will rule in our favor as Christ is our advocate. Thank you for ruling in our favor. That whatever the enemy, whatever legalities the enemy tried to find, whether it's through people we were connected to, whether it's through even places that, 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 that we've gone, whatever it is that the enemy is trying to use to bring to court against us, we thank you, O oh God, that it has been thrown out, it is cast out, O oh God, because we repented, O oh God. We, we, we've come against any blood that was shed. We destroyed every evil altar that was erected because of that blood. And we thank you, O oh God. We thank you. We thank you that the enemy has no legal right, for we are redeemed from the curse of the law through the blood of Jesus Christ. So we thank you, we thank you, we praise you, we glorify your name now. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. All right, and so uh, now we're about to prepare, prepare to go into battle. Are you ready for war? Amen, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready, are you ready warriors, to go to war? Now we took the enemy to court so he can't try to use these legalities against us to try to come up against us, to try to block us, to try to hide, etc. Because... Those charges they brought against us can no longer hold up in court. They've been canceled out in Jesus' name. So that makes the battle much easier. Amen. Sweatless victories. Amen. God bless you, Erica. Hello, Leticia. Good to see you. I know it's, I don't know what time it is for, for, for where you are, but I'm sure it's late or early. I don't know which one. Uh, hello, Pastor Bev. Amen. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? All right. Today we're dealing with marital destiny. I know on Sundays, the last Sunday of the month, we typically I have our singles prayer and spiritual warfare call, but because we're doing these 10 days of, uh, of, of, of fire, prayer and spiritual warfare, today is going to kind of be dealing with that. So we're going to deal with marital destiny. Uh, 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 and, and so we're going to go to Matthew 19 and 6. Our first prayer target is coming from Matthew, Matthew 19 and 6. Matthew 19 and 6. Be reading for the New King James Version in this passage. So we thank you, O God, for putting the full arm of God upon us. We have our weapons ready. We are suited and booted, ready to come up against what has been trying to come up against us. For you giving us the divine right of Jesus Christ to trade over serpents, to trade over scorpions, scorpions in the name of Jesus, and the power of the enemy has will, will have no impact on us. Matthew nineteen and six. So then, they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. What God has joined together, let not man separate. So please understand, whether you're married or you're single. If you're single, the enemy doesn't want you to get married. If you're married, the enemy doesn't want you to stay married. The enemy's going to try to do everything he can to destroy covenant. Because there's, there's this purpose, this purpose that you and your spouse are going to carry out in the earth. We have individual assignments that we have to fulfill. And then we have uh, corporate or, 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 or assignments that you fulfill with, with your God-ordained spouse. Amen? And, so, uh, and so, so with that being said, it says again, you, 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 you no longer become one. Uh, you no longer two, but you become one flesh. And it says, well, God is joined together. So you have to understand, firstly, if you are married, you've been joined together. You two have become one flesh. If you're single... It's so already done in heaven. It's already done. It's already written in your book. You have a book. You have a book with your name written in it, and 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 and, 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 it, and it outlines everything about your life, everything you're supposed to accomplish. Because scripture even talks, we're living epistles. That that's a letter. We're living. We're living books. We're living books. And so you got to live out that book. You got to live it out. You got to live it out. You got to live out what you said in this book is everything you said yes to before you left heaven. And so all we're doing is living out what is already done in heaven. That's why I say all the time we're not living. Uh, in the future or the present, we're really living in the past because it's already done. So it's really simple. It's already done. Christ said it's finished. It's already done. So your God ordained mate is al it's already a completed work. It's already done. Whether you're single, the enemy just wants you to think that it's not going to happen. And of course, the enemy is fighting you tooth and nail because the enemy does not want it to manifest. 
So God has already joined you together in the realm of the spirit. What you got to me? It's already done. He's already put it in motion. But now we have to fight against those demons, those witches, those wolves who are trying to stop that union from happening. Amen? And so our first prayer target. Repeat after me. Oh God, my Father. Destroy all of my enemies. Who have hindered and delayed my marital destiny. Let them release my God-ordained spouse right now by fire in the name of Jesus. And even those of you who are married, then you're going to be warring for your spouse. You're going to be warring for your marriage because the enemy is still plotting and planning to try to cause division, to try to cause strife. That you both as a couple don't fulfill your God-ordained potential and really walk in all that God has called you both to walk in together, together. So the enemy wants one spouse to be way over here, one spouse to be doing this, and you might be on fire for God, but your spouse might not be on fire, and then it causes division and friction. So you need to be warring for your spouse if you're already married. Those who are single, you're warring for your spouse as well. So that they may manifest, and you still stand in the gap for them. Amen? So again, oh God, my Father, destroy all of my enemies who have hindered and delayed my manifestation, my marital destiny. Let them release my God-ordained spouse right now by fire. By fire. In the name of Jesus. And we're going to go one last time with holy aggression. Someone's Erica said, can you marry the wrong person? Yes, you can. Because Satan can send people and, and try to get you, your, your, your marital destiny off track by linking you up with the wrong person, etc. So yeah, that's possible. Uh, so one last time. Oh God, my Father, destroy all of my enemies who have hindered and delayed my marital destiny. Let them release my God ordained spouse right now, right now, right now, by fire in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray right now, right now. Destroy, oh God, all of our enemies, all of our enemies who have delayed and hindered our marital destiny. Let them be destroyed, let them be destroyed as we clap our hands. We're drawing the sword of the Lord and we're striking the enemy. 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 Release our God ordained mates. Release them right now. Release them right now. Loose them and let them go. Loose them and let them go. Loose them and let them go. Right now. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. You demons. You witches. You warlocks. Who have delayed these God's people marital destiny. Die by fire. Loose them and let them go right now. Loose them and let them go right now For they have purpose to accomplish They have a mission that they have to accomplish With their spouse in the earth And God has already released them And if God's already released them You foul spirits, you have no rights To delay them any longer You have no rights to block them any longer We command a divine release right now Loose them and let them go Right now, right now By fire, by fire, by fire By fire, and those who are married If they're, their spouse have been locked up, have been chained up, have been oppressed. We cast you in demons down by fire. We cast you down by fire and we send the heavenly host, the warring angels to fight on their behalf, to war on their behalf right now, right now, right now, right now, that their spouses shall be saved. Their spouses shall be the men and women of God that God's called them to be. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not trap them. You will not hold them back. You will not allow them to live below their destiny. You foul spirit. Loose them and let them go right now. Loose their God ordained spouses. Loose their God ordained spouses. Loose them right now and let them go. We strike you. We send the fire of God. The fire of God. Fire of God. We send the fire. 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 Loose them right now. Loose them right now. We strike the enemy. We strike the enemy. We strike the enemy. Loose them. Loose them right now. Right now. Right now, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. Loose them right now. Loose their husbands. Loose their wives. Loose them right now. 
take your hold off of them. Every demonic chain, let them be broken. Let them be broken off of their marital destiny. Let it be broken. Every curse that was spoken over their lives, over their marital destiny, we send it back to the sender. 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 Begin to pray. You got the war. Fight. 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 Fight for what's yours. Fight for your God ordained spouse. Fight for them right now. You standing in a gap for them. You're interceding on their behalf. Fight, fight. Wherever they are, fight. Fight for them. Stand that gap for them. We pull out the shield of faith and we quench every fiery dart that the enemy would try to send against our God ordained spouses. We quench it right now. We cast it down. We cast out every stronghold, every demonic barrier that's been put in the way of our God ordained spouses. We break it. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. We break it. We break it. Break, 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 break. Every demonic warhol, every demonic stronghold, quick, 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 qu
uh, uh, spirit wife dealing with a woman, a spirit husband dealing with a man, etc. But at the end of the day, it's still their job to try to stop your marital destiny. It's their job to steal from you, to rob from you. Uh, uh, and, and they believe that they're married to you. They, they, some, they may have rings on your finger and around with a spirit and you don't know of it. And so we're going to break that so that, again, there may be rings. They may have children for you uh, uh, in a realm of the spirit in, 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 in the marine kingdom, underworld kingdom, etc. And all that's going to be destroyed. All that's going to be destroyed. Uh, and, so, and so with that being said, so we're going to divorce. We're going to issue a divorce decree to every spirit husband, to every spirit wife who have said and declared that they are married to you. And again, if, and if they're married to you in a realm of the spirit, then they're going to block Everything in power to block you from getting married. They're gonna, or they're gonna send the wrong ones so that they can keep it going. Or if you are married, there's there's married couples who still have spirit husband, spirit wife as an operation. It's to cause division, cause cause strife, cause you to feel unloved by your by your spouse, cause you, your your spouse not want to touch you, cause cause all these type of issues because those spirit husbands and spirit wives are very jealous. They don't want you happy. They don't want you in another relationship because they feel they that you belong to them, that you belong to them. So we have, so, so now we have to cancel that in Jesus' name. So we're going to issue a divorce decree to every spirit husband, every spirit wife that have connected themselves to you. We're going to issue a divorce decree now in Jesus' name. We're trying to work behind the scenes against your life. So repeat that to my next prayer target. I issue a divorce decree to every demonic spirit husband or spirit wife who claims they're married to me in the spirit. Let them be cut off and cast out of my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. You're getting your attention now. They know it's time to go. Again, I issue a divorce decree to every demonic spirit husband or spirit wife who claims they're married to me in the spirit. Let them be cut off and cast out of my life now in the name of Jesus. All right, one last time with holy aggression. You got to evict these jokers out of your life. I issue a divorce decree to every demonic spirit husband or spirit wife who claims they're married to me in the spirit. Let them be cut off and cast out of my life. Let them be cut off and cast out of my life. Now, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray right where you are. Every demonic spirit husband, every demonic spirit wife, we cut you off of our life. We cut you out right now. This your divine exit. This your divine eviction notice. You will leave our lives now by fire, by fire, by fire. You will leave right now, right now, right now, right now, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. Exit our lives. Exit, exit. This is your divine exit right now. We strike you right now. We strike you right now. We cut you out of our lives. You foul spirits. We cut you out of our lives. We command you to go right now. We issue a divorce decree in the realm of the spirit. You are not married to us, you foul spirits. You human agents of Satan. We cast down your works. We cancel your works. We issue a divorce decree right now. Right now. Right now. It ends today. Those demonic marriages in the spirit. It ends today. It ends today. It ends right now. 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 Right Right now, for we are the bride of Christ. Those demonic covenants, let them be broken right now. Every demonic covenant they try to bring us into, we cancel it. We override it and overturn it by the superior blood of Jesus Christ. We override it and we overturn it by the superior blood of Jesus Christ. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now, we override it, we overturn it, we override it, we cut you out of our lives, 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 right now, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, we cut you off, we cast you out of our lives, leave right now, wherever you are attached, cut up and out now, go now, go now, go now, by the divine authority of Jesus Christ, 
Go now, leave right now. We command to leave. We disconnect you. We disconnect you. Go right now. Leave, leave, leave. Come up and out right now. Wherever you connected, leave by fire. Come up and out. Come up and out. Come up and out. Leave, leave. We cast you right now. Right now, this is your divine eviction orders. Pack your bags and go right now. Go to the pit. Leave right now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Right now. Come out. Come out. Come out. By fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire all over their bodies. Come out. I command you to come out. You spirit husbands. You spirit wives. You demonic spirits. Out. 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 Come out. Come out. Right now, right now, right now, you have no legal rights. You have no legal rights. You've been summoned to the court of heaven right now. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out of their lives. Come out, come out, come out by fire. Out, 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 out by fire. We pull you out, we pull you out, we pull you out. Out, 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 out. Any demonic wish you laid in their bodies, any poison you put in their bodies, any seeds you sow in their bodies, out by fire, out, out. We flush it out. We flush it out. We flush it out. We flush it out with the superior blood of Jesus Christ. We flush it out. We flush it out. You will not stop these God's people from being with their God ordained spouse. You will not stop them. You will not stop them from living a uh, uh, peaceful lives with their spouse. You will not take their joy away in their marriages. We cast you down. We cast you down. We cast you down. We cast you down. We cast you down by fire. By fire. By fire. And marriages that were on the ropes. That will rock. We declare reconciliation right now. We cast on a spirit of lust. We cast on a spirit of confusion. Out, 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 out by fire. You unclean spirit. Out, 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 out. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. Come out. Come out. Come out right now. I command you in the name of Jesus. Out, 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 out. Come out right now. Come out right now. We disconnect. We disassociate ourselves with you foul spirits. We disassociate ourselves. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. We command you out. 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 Right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now, you spirit husband, you spirit wives, you demonic spirits, you unclean spirits, you spirit of perversion, you spirit of lush, out, 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 you spirits of addiction, out, 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 by fire, by fire, by fire, you will no longer delay their marital destiny, you will no longer delay it, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more, we command you out now, out now, out now, out now, out now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, leave, leave, never to return again, leave, never to return again, never to return again, this is your end, your end has come, we show no mercy on you, out by fire, out by fire, out, 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 out of their marriages now, out, 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 out of their marriages now, out of their lives now, out, out, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. These God's people, we declare and decree, they shall be with their God-ordained spouse in the name of Jesus, and they shall stay with their God-ordained spouse. In the name of Jesus, we cast out confusion. We cast out division. We cast out chaos. Go now. Go now. Go now. By fire. By fire. By fire. We send bombs of fire. Let it fall from heaven. Bombs of fire. Bombs of fire. Bombs of fire. We bomb up your camps. We bomb up your camps. We bomb up your camps. Go now. 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 Go now, right now, your end has come out, 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 out. We come against a spirit of sabotage right now. Chaos out, 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 out.
out every false, every counterfeit that you will try to send into their lives. We blood block it. We blood block every counterfeit the enemy will try to send. Any false divine connection, we blood block it. We blood block it. Any traps the enemy has set to try to cause your marriage to be delayed even longer, we cancel it. Let those traps be exposed. Let it be exposed. Let it be exposed. Let it be exposed by fire. By fire, we will not fall into the traps. But you enemies, our enemies, you shall fall into the traps that you set for us, that you set for our marital destiny. You shall fall into those traps. You foul demons. You foul human agents of Satan, you shall fall into your own traps. No more, no more delay, no more delay, no more delay, no more delay, no more delay. Out, 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 out. We will not partner with the spirit of delay. No more, no more, no more. We destroy every demonic camp. Every spirit husband, every spirit wife, you are evicted from our lives. You are evicted from the lives of our spouse. We stand the gap for our spouse. If you spirit husband, you spirit wife, if you connected to them, come out, come out. Come out, we send God's arrows of fire to locate you and strike you down. You will come out. You will leave now. You will leave now. You will leave now. You will leave now. And I declare, if these God's people are connected to anyone that God said no to, open their eyes now, oh God. Open their eyes now, God. They won't waste any more time. You know, oh God. Open their eyes. Let them see, oh God, that they won't waste their time with someone you said no to, oh God. Give them the strength, oh God, to walk away, oh God, that they will not partner with the spirit of delay. Give them the strength to say no, oh God. Give them the strength to shut the door and keep the door shut, oh God, to anyone that you have not ordained for them to be with, oh God. We shut the door. We shut the door. By the superior blood of Jesus Christ, we shut the door. We shut the door and we seal it tight. We seal it tight with the blood of Jesus that no counterfeits will be able to slip through the cracks. No counterfeits will be able to slip into our lives. No more. No more, no more. Only who you sent, oh God. Only who you've ordained, oh God. Only who you've assigned, oh God. For these your people, God, to marry, oh God, shall manifest in their lives. In the name of Jesus, right now, right now, right now, right now, let the door be shut. We shut it, 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 we shut it right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, we come against the spirit of stress. The spirit of depression, who, who the enemy is trying to make these God's people upset or fearful that the, their clock is ticking, that they're running out of time. I cast that spirit down, for oh God, you supersede time, oh God. I declare this what in Kairos moment, oh God, when that's where eternity invades time, oh God, and you are the redeemer of time, oh God. We thank you, oh God. For redeeming the time, O oh God, that the enemy stole, O oh God. Redeem the time, O oh God. They shall experience, O oh God, a prosperous marriage, a joyful marriage in the land of the living, O oh God. They shall experience, O oh God, in a good age, O oh God. At a good age, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God. 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 Oh God. Spirit of depression, out, 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 out. Come out by fire. Spirit of depression, we break your back. Out by fire. Out by fire. You will not torment these God's people. Out. 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 Spirit of heaviness, go now. Go now. We break your back. Out by fire. Out by fire. Out. 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 And I declare the joy of the Lord shall consume you. The joy of the Lord shall consume you. The joy of the Lord shall consume you. That you get excited again about your marriage. You get excited again about getting married. You won't listen to the lies of the enemy. You won't listen to the lies of the world. You won't listen to the opinion of others. God has a man of God for you. God has a woman of God for you. It is so. It's already written in your book. And no devil in hell will be able to stop it. It it ends today. The tricks of the enemy. It ends today. No more delays. No more delays. No more delays. No more delays. Restore, oh God. Restore quickly, suddenly, and in acceleration. Quickly, suddenly, and in acceleration. Now, 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 now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So someone on Periscope just said that they... It missed church today because depression kept them home. So we cancel out that depression. We, we cast it out. 
No more, no more, no more, no more, no more. Don't receive the reports of the enemy. The enemy wants to isolate you. The enemy wants to isolate you, make you feel like, oh, this is what it's going to be like. You're going to be lonely for the rest of your life. You're going to have to be, you're just working for, working just, just to go home by yourself. You, you're in ministry just to come home to yourself. All lies of the enemy to try to put you into a state to cause you to drift further and further away from God or to drift further and further away from your purpose. That's what the enemy wants. But don't believe the report of the enemy. It is already done. It is already finished. And if God's placed a desire in your heart to be married, God placed it there, not you. God placed it there, not you. And don't let no devil in hell steal your joy. So some of you got to get that joy again. Get, get excited again about meeting your God ordained man. Get excited again. Get excited. You're not helpless and hopeless. You are a child of the Most High God, the King of Kings. So rejoice for what God has already released. Amen. Rejoice for what you snatched back from the enemy. Our next prayer target. Just two more. Psalm 52. Psalm 52. Psalm 52 verses 4 through 5. In this passage I'm re re uh, reading from the New Living Translation. Psalm 52 verses 4 through 5. Psalm 52 verses 4 through 5. Amen. The joy of the Lord is our strength. It says, verse 4, You love to destroy others with your words, you liar. But God will strike you down once and for all. He will pull you from your home and uproot you from the land of the living. This is right here in the word of God. This is what's going to happen to you enemies. It says, you love to destroy others with your words, you liar. So you know there's demons, there's witches, there's wolves, there's sorcerers who are lying on you, who are lying about you, who have said some things that are just not true about you in the realm of the spirit, and they put it in the realm of the spirit, those word curses, and they're trying to carry it out, saying that you'll never get married, saying you'll always be single, saying you never, if you're married that you'll never be happy in your marriage, saying, saying that this is what's going to keep happening, saying that your spouse is always going to cheat, saying all these things, all these things. Saying your spouse doesn't love you, you're never going to be loved, you, you don't deserve to be loved. Trying to make you blame yourself, trying to make you condemn yourself, trying to make you feel like you're less than. All lies. Saying you're never going to have children. All lies. All lies. All lies. And so, so you love to destroy others with your words. That's what the enemy wants to do. They want to destroy you with their words. For death and life is not the power of the tongue. Words hold power. So that's why we have to cast down those word curse that the enemy spoken. But you got to cast down word curse you've spoken. Some of you have spoken death over your own marital destiny. Some of you have spoken death over your own marriage. It's the things that you've said. And the enemy will use that in court against you as a testimony against you. And you're fighting for your marriage. And you're fighting for your future spouse. And the enemy say, yeah, they're praying for this. They're fighting for this. But this, look at what they said. They said they're always going to be single. They said they don't even care about getting married no more. They said these things don't even matter. They said this. They said that. They said they're just going to settle. Look what they said about their spouse. Look what they said about men. All men are dogs. Can't trust no women. Look at all the stuff they said. And so they bring this stuff to court to use against you in the court of law. And so you got to cast down those word curses that you've spoken and that others spoken. We cast it down in the name of Jesus. So they're lies. Those are all lies. It says, but God will strike you down once and for all. Your enemies, God will strike them down once and for all. He will pull them from their home. And I uproot them from the land of the living. You know what that means? They will be no more. It means they are finished. They are done. They are gone. Our next prayer target. Repeat after me. Oh God, my Father. Strike down once and for all. Every witch. Warlock. Or sorcerer who have put out lies in the spirit by saying I will never get married or stay married. Destroy them and uproot them from the land of the living in the name of Jesus. One more time before we walk. Oh God, my Father, 
Say it like you mean it. Strike down once and for all every witch, warlock, or sorcerer who have put out lies in the spirit by saying that I will never get married or stay married. Destroy them. Destroy them and uproot them from the land of the living. In the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Strike down, oh God. Strike down. Once and for all. Once and for all. Every witch. Every warlock. Every sorcerer. Who's put out lies. And around with a spirit. Saying I'll never get married. Or saying I won't stay married. Destroy them, oh God. Destroy them. Uproot them from the land of the living. Pluck them out. Pluck them out. Suddenly. Quickly. In an acceleration. Don't let them see it coming. Uproot them. Suddenly. Quickly. In an acceleration. Uproot them. Suddenly. Quickly. In an acceleration. Suddenly. Quickly. And then accelerate them. Uproot them. Uproot them. Uproot them. Uproot them. That when they put their heads on the pillow. Every witch, every warlock, every sorcerer who tried to curse your marital destiny when they put their head on the pillow. Let them not wake up in the land of the living. Let them open their eyes in hell. Let them open their eyes in hell. Let them not wake up in the land of the living. We are root them. 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 Let a tornado sweep them away. Let it sweep them away. Let it sweep them away. Let it sweep them away. Sweep them away with your broom of destruction. Sweep them away with your broom of destruction. Wipe them out. We call for the east wind of heaven to blow. We call for the east wind of heaven to blow. And the east wind brings destruction. It destroys the enemy. Let the east wind of heaven blow. Let it blow. Let it blow. Let it blow our enemies away. Let it blow away every demon who's put out lies about you, who has been destined, who has done everything in their power to try to keep your marital destiny locked up. We break the chain. We break the chain. Every demonic padlock that's been on your marital destiny or has been on your marriage that witches' walls have put on it, saying it will not prosper, saying it will never happen, saying it will never move forward. We break every demonic padlock. We break it right now. Every demonic chain. We break it. 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 Let it break. 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 Right now, right now, let it break, 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 right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, these God's people, they shall be happily married, happily married, happily married, happily married, we declare and decree that it is so, they shall be happily married, happily married, happily married, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, you foul spirits, loose them and let them go. Every demonic chain over their lives, every demonic padlock over their lives that witches and warlocks have put on them, let it break now, 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 right now. We command it to be broken, 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 right now, 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 right now. Right now, right now, right now, let it break, let it break, let it break, let it break, let it break. No more walking around with chains, no more walking around with your marital destiny locked up, no more, no more living, being in marriage unhappy, no more being in marriages unfulfilled, no more just existing in marriages, no more, no more existing just in life, no more, no more, no more. For Christ came that we may have life and that we may have it more abundantly, and we shall live. A more abundant life that Christ promised, and no devil in hell shall stop it. We declare war. 
We declare war. We declare war against our enemies. We declare war. We declare war. We declare war. We We wipe out every demonic troop. We annihilate you. We annihilate you. We annihilate you. We annihilate you. Every demonic troop that's been working against your marital destiny, we annihilate them. We annihilate them. We annihilate them. We annihilate them. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. It is so. It is so. It is so. You shall experience it in the land of the living. Right now. 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 We break every demonic curse. That's been spoken over your marital destiny. Let it break. Let it break. Let it break. And let it be reversed. We send it back to the sender now. Let it break. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All right, our last prayer target. Our last prayer target is going to come from Psalm 50. Psalm 50, verses 21 through 22. We're still going to be in the New Living Translation version. Psalm 50, verses 21 through 22. Some of you need to just go ahead and, 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 and declare right now, I am happily married. I am happily married. Begin to declare it. Make that profession, whether you're not married yet in a natural, or you're already married in a natural. Make that profession, I am happily married. I am happily married. The joy of the Lord is in my marriage. Declare it. Make that your declaration in the name of Jesus. You are, you are, you are, you are happily married. You are happily married. You are, it's already done in the spirit. We manifest in that. You are happily married in the name of Jesus. Psalm 50, verses 21 to 22. It says, while you did all this, I remained silent. And you thought I didn't care. But now I will rebuke you. Listing all my charges against you. Repent all of you who forget me. Or I will tear you apart. And no one will help you. Now God was talking to sinners. Uh, in this particular time. But also of course representing the enemy. Those who completely abandon God. Those who completely disrespect God. Who, who, who's working against you. Those witches, warlocks, sorcerers, those demons. He said, I didn't forget. The Lord said, I, I, I didn't. He said, I remained silent. And you thought I didn't care. You thought I, didn't, I thought I wasn't watching. But now I will rebuke you. Listing all my charges against you. So God, God's got a list of charges he's bringing against your enemies. And you have a list of charges you can bring against your enemies when you go to court. Because the enemy, that's why we went to the courtroom of heaven. The enemy is trying to bring charges to court against you. To try to justify why you shouldn't be married. Try to justify why they have legal rights to your, to your marriage if you are married. They're bringing charges against you and you got to reverse that. Say, uh-uh, I'm showing up to court. You show up to court in prayer and you rebuke that. You come up against that. And it says, listing all my charges against you. Repent, all of you who forget me, or I will tear you apart and no one will help you. Guess what God's going to do to your enemies right now? This is our parting gift to our enemies. He's going to tear them apart and no one will help them. Our last prayer target, repeat after me. Oh God, my father, I press charges against all my enemies who have fought against my marital destiny. Tear them apart. And as they scream for mercy, let them find none. Because of what they did to me all these years in the name of Jesus. You can't show mercy on your enemy. Again, oh God, my father, I press charges against all my enemies. Who have fought against my marital destiny. Tear them apart. And as they scream for mercy. Let them find none. Because of what they did to me. All these years. In the name of Jesus. 
So what the enemy did to you all these years, the turmoil, the pain, how they terrorized you, they didn't show you no mercy, so we show no mercy. We show no mercy. So one last time, and they're going to be screaming, those witches walk, screaming in pain, in agony. And they try to cause agonizing pain in your life all these years, trying to bring depression, anxiety, trying to cause hurt, all this stuff, loneliness, all this stuff they try to put on you. Oh God, my father. I press charges against all my enemies who have fought against my marital destiny. Tear them apart. Tear them apart. And as they scream for mercy, let them find none. Because of what they did to me all of these years. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Oh God, tear them apart. Tear them apart. Tear them from limb to limb. From limb to limb. Based on what they've done to my marital destiny. To the da damage they've caused over all these years. Show no mercy. Show no mercy. As you rip them apart from limb to limb. Show them no mercy. Show them no mercy. Show them no mercy. Destroy them, annihilate them, limb to limb. Let them feel the excruciating pain for the pain they caused in our lives all these years. For the delay they caused in our lives all these years. For the misery they caused in our lives all these years. For the disappointment they caused in our lives all these years. For the back, uh, uh, going backwards that they caused in our lives all these years. No more. No more for the sadness they've caused in my lives all these years. Let them be torn from limb to limb. Show them no mercy. Show them no mercy. They will find no help. Let them find no help. Shred them to pieces. Tear them apart. Rip them apart. Piece by piece. Limb by limb. Limb by limb. Skin by skin. Rip them apart. Organ by organ. Rip them apart. Rip them apart. Let them get payback. For all the years of harm they caused in our lives, show them no mercy. We show them no mercy. We show those demons no mercy. We show those witches, wolves, and sorcerers no mercy. No mercy. No mercy. No mercy. No mercy. No mercy. Enough is enough. We will tolerate it no longer. We will tolerate the lies no longer. We will to tolerate the terrorizing no longer. No more. No more. No more. No more. Let them be ripped apart. Let them be shredded. Reduce them to nothingness. Reduce them to ashes. To ashes. To ashes. To ashes. To ashes. Erase the memory of their existence from the earth. Erase the memory of their existence from the earth by fire, 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 by fire. Loose the marital destiny right now. You shall be happily married. You shall be happily married. You shall be happily married. You are happily married. You are happily married. You are happily married. You are happily married. Right now. 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 As your enemies are being terrorized. They're being tormented. They're being tormented. And they will remember. It is because what they've done to you. Because what they've done in your life. What they've done to your marital destiny. No longer. The curses are lifted. The curses are broken. They can't stop it any longer. They can't delay it any longer. No more. No more because you're happily married. You're happily married right now. 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 We destroy every demonic camp right now. We call it our war cry right now. Fire. 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 Let them burn. Fire. 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 Fire, 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 let them burn. Fire, 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 let them burn. Fire, 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 let them burn. Fire, 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 let them burn. One more time. Fire, 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 let them burn. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of 
Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just shout unto God for the victory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for another victory. Another battle won. Another battle won on earth. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. As we watch the enemy's camp ablaze, as we set it ablaze, it is on fire. It is destroyed. It is destroyed. And we let one person from this troop, we bind them in chains and fetters, and we send them back to their superiors and let them know once again that Satan's camp has been defeated. So give yourself a hand for destroying another troop, for showing up to battle. For showing up to court. Amen. So we thank God. We thank God for the victory. For your marital destiny. Amen. And like I say these prayers. You can go back uh, and, and play it over, over and over again. Uh, and this one, you know, for these 10 days we have different topics. Uh, but again, you, you, you can pray all of them. Again, and, and it covers uh, so many things. And, and like I said, you go back and you pray uh, in war along with it. Amen. And, uh, and so walk away with victory. Walk away with victory. Walk away with victory. You already have it. It's already done. So you so you you living with joy now. You took care of business. You handled business. Amen. God bless you. Teacher said she was watching watching on YouTube. Amen. Again, it, 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 it's so, it's so, it's so, it's someone said they burning those DVD. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. It is done. So you just have to rest in the peace of knowing it is finished. All we're doing is executing the victory right here on earth. Amen. Uh, and so tomorrow, and remember, we're still fasting. We're, we're still fasting. Uh, we have, uh, today was day six. So we're going to have four more days uh, of this 10-day uh, this fast. So we're still fasting. How the Lord leads you leads you uh, is how you fast. And, and also those of you, if you experience any symptoms, like you felt nause nauseous, you felt head headaches, tingling in your fingers, etc. That was just those spirits who connect themselves to you manifesting. If you vomited, if you coughed. A lot sneeze, uh, heavy yawning, uh, uh, etc. Those are, those are signs of those spirits that will connect you coming out. So don't be alarmed uh, by those manifestations, etc. That's just how it works, ways in which they come out. Burping, absolutely. Uh, and so tomorrow we're going to be on at 5.30, 5.30 p.m. Eastern, uh, Monday and Wednesday. Tuesday is going to be at 7.30. Uh, it's usually our Bible study night, but uh, because we're doing the 10 days of prayer, we're going to still... Uh, be praying. Uh, so again, tomorrow will be 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Tuesday is going to be at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so so God bless you. I'm excited. I'm excited for praise reports. Praise reports that are coming out of your camp, out of your lives. Again, for the victory again. Keep taking those enemy to court. Where they try to bring stuff against you, keep taking them to court. And keep warring against them. Because when you take them to court, it makes the battle even easier. Because they can't use all these legal rights against you. Amen. Uh, God bless you. God bless you. Uh, 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 yep, Leticia, it's unfortunate. Some don't teach how to war. Uh, and that's why some of you feel so, feel so defeated or so helpless. But that's why I'm training you to teach you all to fight for yourself. You got to know how to war. I can't, I, I, I can't just fight for you. You got to fight for it. That's when we're praying in war. I tell you, you got to open up your mouth. You got to fight back. You got to fight back. You got to open up your mouths. Amen. Uh, and, and knowing that God's trained your hands to war. So again, remember that you are the breath of God. And God never wastes a breath. This is the Apostle, the Cora Green sign out. God bless you. Have a smile upon you. And I'll see you next week. Uh, amen. Teacher, I started school this week for my doctorate. Please pray for me. I'm excited to see you. Amen. God bless you on your endeavors for a doctorate. And you pursue, pursue, pursuing your doctorate. We declare God's favor, blessings upon you. Amen. Uh, someone just typed something in Periscope. Uh, I guess perhaps they're, just, they're not getting taught this. Uh, well, God bless you, amen, that God, God raised his ministry up so you can learn that, amen, so you can apply, uh, employ those weapons and, and know how to, to, to counterattack what the enemy is bringing in your life, amen, amen. And, and now that you know you have responsibilities to teach others, amen, tell others about what's going on over here, amen, so that they can partake in this and grow with you, amen. So God bless you, heaven smile upon you. I'll see you all tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Have a great rest of the evening. Good night. Every stronghold over our marital destiny be broken, be broken. Any stronghold over our spouses, our future spouses, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Be broken. Be broken.